What's up guys, welcome back to a new player review on the channel. EA have just released new Tuesday 6pm content and it is Estefana Banini. Banini? Banini. I'm not very good at pronouncing names, so we'll go Banini. Interesting player, it's obviously the first female um, kind of player SBC that's been released. Interesting one, it's a squad foundation, um, it looks pretty decent, it takes two squads to complete. Part of me was thinking, will this review get many views, but it's a multi multi um, gender game now, so I'm gonna do it anyway. 84 rated and 85 rated squads, so it's around 70k to complete. Obviously, the 84 rated squad. Um, there's not many really special players here, so we'll just ooh, I submit that too fast. We'll submit that into uh, the SBC. See what pack we get, and see if we get anything interesting from the pack. It's a small electrons player pack. We'll open it. Imagine if we get like a hero. I think it's a silver in it. Yeah, it's a silver card. Or oh, it's a copper limited or as whatever it is. Ah, Dominic Carver Lewis is the best player. So that pack's pretty useless. But we move on to the 85 rated. Which adding a few players in here, but overall no kind of players I use, so it's kind of spare fodder that I've got in the club. And there we have it. Estefana Banini is here. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at the pack animation because it is lovely. Argentinian sentiment. Who is it? Oh, it's Bia Biani with a fantastic... I mean, the pack animation screen is fantastic this FIFA. Um, shame she didn't walk out. I know she's not a walkout rating, but it's an SBC. But that being said, um, we'll have a quick look at her stats, a closer look, and then I'll show you what team I'll be using to, for a few games and the review will follow. So here is Estefani Banini's stats. She looks fantastic. She's five foot four, high medium work, work rate, obviously plays in the La Liga female league um, and for Atletico Madrid. She is mostly explosive with four star skill moves and four star weak foot and she's right footed. Like I said before, it's around 60 to 70k to complete this card, which look at her stats, might not be that bad, especially if you're doing an RTG. Um, she can play centre mid or left wing. Looking at her base stats, I think out wing when you put Hunter on it is a perfect option because I think her defensive work and a physical work for centre mid might kind of get over overrun but out wide with a Hunter I think she could be fantastic. Attributes wise 91 acceleration 74 sprint speed she's just fast off the mark but she might not be too fast over a long distance but with that said Hunter being on it should improve it. Shooting wise though 82 attack positioning 87 finishing 87 shot power and 88 long shots is a fantastic finishing opportunity especially like out wide if you cut in on her right foot and get some shots off she could be lethal passing as well 87 vision 81 crossing 93 kicks which is amazing 91 short passing and 92 curve so she could definitely assist from out wide dribbling 91 balance 86 agility 88 balance 89 ball control 81 dribbling She's made to play out wide, I keep saying this, but she could play in the middle. Let me go. That passing is very good. Um, vision and the agility and balance for them kind of nimble turns in centre mid. If she played a central attacker mid, I'll play her there, but she can't, so hence why I'm playing a left wing. Defending is not the best. Um, defensive awareness isn't very good, especially for centre mid. I like strong centre mids. In my main team, I'm using Casemiro and Enzo Fernandez as my two CDMs, and they're fantastic. And they're because they're strong and they can tackle. Where she can't really. Uh, well, she got a good eight standing tackle, but everything else is pretty poor. Physical wise, jumping, she can jump. Accuracy might not be there, but she can jump. Um, with 83 stamina, 70 strength, and 50 aggression. She's got quite a few play styles. She's got uh, the finesse shot, which is always OP on this game at the moment. Mo Salah can score every finesse shot he takes. He's got a dead ball, i.e., he can. she's a good set piece taker. Uh, she's got first touch. Flare, rapid, so she could be. She's fast off the sprint, and then finally she likes to travel the shot, which I think every single player in the game does. And I managed to build a quite nice team around her. Yes, uh, Lorente and um, Alexia isn't on full camp. Everyone else is. Marcus Rashford, Diaby. I think this could be a fun team, kind of team to use. I look forward to using it, um, and hopefully she's fantastic. So we're getting to a few games. Um, some clips will follow, and the view will be at the end.
So, Estefana Banini is a fantastic player. She played on the left wing for me, and because she's right footed, she likes to cut in, and she's got the finessed shot play styles, so she scored some bangers for me. As you can see, like I say, five goals, two games, one assist. Amazing. Her finishing is fantastic. That acceleration she has, you can just burst away from defenders. The second game I played where she scored four goals, I played against Trent Alexander-Arnold, and she absolutely burnt him. And because she's quite small, um, she's five foot four, she's very nimble. So when she can close control dribbling to get onto her left, uh, right foot, finesse into the top corner, or even her power shots are pretty good. Didn't really have to get much free kicks with her, um, but I had one which is quite far out, which is decent, but nothing really to shout home about, but she has got 90 free kicks, which is amazing. She did a lovely cross for Kevin De Bruyne to get a, uh, an assist. And just an overall, I think she's a very, very good player. For what um, you pay for, just around 60k, I think he's a very good player. Four stars, well, he, she's a very good player, should I say, sorry. Four stars come with four star weak foot. Fits into some nice teams. Like this team here is a very fun team to use. They've got the Rashford, my Diaby, Lorente. Yes, they're not on all full chem. But, like I say, she's probably up there with one of the best left wingers I've used so far. I couldn't really use uh, Darwin Nunes out there um, to match with my Rashford. Sometimes swap them around, so Rashford sometimes goes on the left. Nunes goes on the left. But, for me, she's very good. She's going to be a super sub. I think she'll be very good late on, especially in the weekend league with that coming up soon. So, overall, fantastic player. Definitely recommend getting her. Um, that being said, leave a like, subscribe. Oh, wait, no, one thing. There is actually some objectives out which you can help um, kind of with chemistry and things like that. It's in the milestone section. And if you go down to... Where is it? Here we go. La Liga, Liga F Squad Foundations. You can actually get three more players. This Badab... Badadji? I'm really... What's going on? Uh, Patri Ojeda and Martin Prieto. Some pretty easy um, kind of objectives, to be fair, to get them all. So you could have a really good Spanish Squad Foundations team. So... Yeah, that being said, leave a like. Comment if you want me to review any of these players, like this Bada GJ. She's English. She looks pretty good. If you want me to uh, review her, let me know, and I'll do it. So leave a like, subscribe, and more videos will be on the way.